Hey, what's going on guys? So today is actually pretty exciting. Um, I went to a surplus store, like uh, my first ever time, and it was great. Um, the one that I went to is the Ranger um, surplus store. They, they technically call it the Ranger tra trading um, post, but... No, I could just call it Ranger Surplus. It's up in Surbiton if you ever want to go there. It was really cool. Um, the shop itself was a little bit on the small side, but it was a really good experience for me. Um, the workers there were really kind, you know, like anytime they saw me just sort of looking at the wall of stuff, they were like, do you need any help? Like, you know, they were really kind and whatnot. So I got three items for my survival slash camping stuff, you know. Um... And I am going to show them to you, least exciting thing to most exciting thing, at least to me, right? So the first thing is I got a mess tin. Um, I got two in the pack and um, it's just a simple, like, um, I think they're aluminum, I believe. It doesn't say what metal they are, but this, but for two of them, it was $7.99. Um, it's basically eight quid. Um, and this is the smaller one and it's still like a decent size, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, like this would be good for most things that I'm going to be doing, you know. Um, it also has the handle that goes down like that. Um, out of the two that was in the pack, this one's certainly more used, like the handle's a little bit bent. Um, like on the inside there's some more scratches. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys can kind of see that I guess. You know, um, this is only the more like dinged up one. This was the like the more used one. Um, like whoever used this, like used it well. Um, but I'm gonna use it some more. So, <laughs> yeah, two for eight quid, and the bigger one I'm saving that for whenever this one goes, or let's say like a handle breaks off or something. You know, that's uh, my family always called these the um the I'm a celebrity uh plates or dishes. Because then I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. This is what they use to make their rice and beans in, you know. Um, and these are really cool too because, like, because it has the corners. Um, if you have, like, soup or stuff, stuff, you can actually drink from the corner. I haven't washed this yet, so I'm not putting it on my lips or anything. I'm going to wash this after I finish filming. <laughs> so the uh, second thing I got was a cutlery set thing. And, these are, and this one's really cool because they're designed... Um, like there are replicas of the old German style ones. Um, the German one, I believe, was like the army one, the military edition. I believe those were in use from the early 90s until about 2010-ish. Um, so these are a variant of those. It has a simple, I believe these are, that's called like a key, uh, keyhole type locking system. So... You have your knife, your fork, and your spoon. Um, the spoon is a good size. It's, you know, like, hello. Um, again, I need to wash this. But I thought these pegs, like, the whole system, like, that, that that's how they work. I thought I was going to be uncomfortable. But, like, where I naturally hold my spoons, like, it's right in between the pegs, you know. So it doesn't actually matter to me. Um, the fork, um, I mean, it's not sharp, but like it's sharp enough for food, if you get what I mean, you know, um, like you're not going to kill anyone with this anytime soon. Um, maybe you could sharpen them up, I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty good. Um, oh my goodness, I just spent that a bit. All right. All right. Okay, maybe it's not so good. <laughs> These, just to show you how maybe not good they are, was two ninety nine, three quid. Um... So yeah, you kind of get what you pay for, but you know, and it has a knife, um, the knife has a serrated edge, which, ooh, it is enough to scratch your nail, if you guys can see that, that's enough to, yeah, okay, it's kind of sharp, it also has a bottle opener on the bottom there, the bottle opener is kind of in an awkward space for how I hold my knives, like, some of my knives like this, you know, um, but some people, they like to do this ordeal, like when they're using their knife. So that's this is comfortable. This is a little bit less. The metal is 
thin so it just kind of cut into my hand a little bit but you know um, I won't know properly until I try them again I got a cleanies and the third item which is the final item is I got one of these uh, BCB stoves these are really good um, these have been issued in the uh, UK military um, like to the soldiers you know so you know they're durable and whatnot hang on I'm just opening it up here all right so if you've never seen it it opens up like so and in here you would put your um fuel the fuel i got for this is called if you care like the brand is called like if you care fuel and their whole brand is like environment you know um like the ones that i got are made from like the tablet to the tablet to put in here are the all the fuel is a uh, wood and vegetable oil i believe and you set and you set down fire and each one lasts about 10 minutes on the product page um but this is big enough where like if you had like the little hexamine tablets you could you could totally put like two in there if you needed to um and of course this was designed to be used with the fire dragon fuel the gel fuel um so you can also do that as well um if you don't know how it works there's a little bump here there's a bunch of other bumps here um, and what that does is it allows you to have multiple settings so that's setting one that's like the biggest setting you know then you have setting two which is this is like the regular you know that's like this is what most people use then you have setting three which unless you're using a really small cup I don't know why you would use the really small maybe it's because it's windy but it comes with a windshield which I'm going to talk about in a moment so I don't know this one kind of useless to me maybe you have an application for this but um that's the smallest usable function and then you have shut um and you can also fit some tablets in here so you don't need to carry them in like a separate little pouch or something you know so when you open it up it also comes with a wind shield which if you can read there it says where is it out which that piece literally as it suggests you put on the outside of the thing boom so you have two on the inside one on the outside and then you would shut that around it so there's a so whichever direction the wind's coming from you would be protected like your fire would be protected um this is big enough to support the mess tin you do kind of have to balance it but at the same time i'm kind of moving around and, it's, and i'm holding it so it's not the same but it's big enough for the to support the mess tin that i got and even if you do put it on the biggest setting the gap between the windshield and the um arms i guess you could call it all the sides like it's really not that much you know what i mean like like um it's not like the gap is like this big you know like may maybe that would be enough to power your fire but um you know for that size of gap like i would say that's pretty that's pretty that's pretty fine you know um and it does say on the packaging it uh takes solid fuel so things like hexamine wood fuels that kind of thing um gel fuels like the fire dragon fuel and also some uh, liquid fuels um now i'm personally not going to use liquid fuels with this particular one uh, just because i've never used liquid fuels before um it's not really something that's high up on my like fire list you know um at some point I'm going to do a review on all of those things basically together. I plan on getting like a can of soup or something like that and like cooking that outside for you guys, you know. Plus it will allow me like while it's cooking. Um, or technically it doesn't really cook so that like you can have soup cold. But like while it's like simmering, I can like talk to you guys about it and my views on all the stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to clean everything up because I mean this doesn't really need to be cleaned because it's not going to touch your food directly. But the cutlery and the mess tin certainly need to be cleaned. Um, the cutlery itself doesn't look used. You know, like, yeah, it doesn't look used. Um, so I don't I don't know if I have to clean that, but I'm going to anyway just to be on the safe side. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, 
I was going to put this in my fire making series list, but it's not really fire making. It's just like, hey, look what I've got. Um, let me just talk about the receipt a little bit. So the um, the cooker or stove was two ninety nine, or th yeah, two ninety nine. The cutlery was two ninety nine, and the mess tins was seven ninety nine. Um, so in total, I spent thirteen seventy. Wait, well, you know, thirteen ninety seven. You know, just under fourteen quid. Uh, which for th these three things, I think is worth it. Um, they did have a more expensive set of cutlery, which if these do end up bending super easy and stuff, I might end up buying those. Um, next time I go, I want to try and get a nice little like camping knife. You know, I, I already have two camping knives or two knives, which I consider camping knives. So I don't need another one, but I don't have a Mora knife uh, like in my collection. So that would be pretty cool to get one of those. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you end up getting any of these, if you end up uh, visiting the Ranger shop, um, I should have, I think I have put it on the screen, the Google Maps like address, you know, but, um, if you guys do go there, say, uh, one of their customers, Adam, uh, advise them to go. Um, like I said at the beginning, it is quite a small shop, but their selection is uh, quite good. Like if, like, for, especially for basic stuff they're gonna have it you know what i mean um they had a section for uh guns not not like firearms not like actual cartridge but, but they were like airsoft guns slash air guns and <laughs> i love their selection a lot of them are metal as well so when the guy was showing them off like it sounded like a real gun cocking and like oh my goodness at one point um he had a replica uh, 1911 Colt 1911 and um he was talking about the differences between that like the regular 1911 and the tactical version and at one point he used a slide release on it you know like he cocked it back to show the chamber and everything and he was showing like the little bit where the bbs feed and then he shutted the chamber and it sounded so nice like that uh, that thing i think was like 350 ish pounds i, I believe I didn't look at the prices, you know, but I was just there sort of like googling at them, you know. Um, it was great. They did sell hexamine tablets at the shop. So if I do end up going back, um, I'm going to get some hexamine. Um, what else? Well, about the hexamine, um, I'm not going to be going back there for a little while just because um, I got to take the trains to go there and for me it costs around 20 quid per journey you know what I mean so um, it's not like the sort of thing where I'm saying that and then like tomorrow I'm going or next week I'm going you know but like look forward to that um, one thing I do like is that the hexamine tablets they do sell are unbranded like the box for it's just a white box and all it says on it is like keeping a well ventilated area you know um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um the next video well, maybe not next video but it, sh it should be next like one of the upcoming videos it should be me either um using my ferro rods or using the cooking stuff to make soup or boil water or something so yeah look out for those videos and uh for the fourth time already in this video remember to like subscribe i'll see you later and peace out guys